of all, congrats on the 20-point game out there today. So what was working for you offensively, and how do you think your offensive game has evolved from last year to this one, considering you're taking a more prominent role in the offensive game? Um, just staying ready. Um, my coaches had me work on things when I went overseas, and I think I just did that and brought it back, incorporated it with our system, and just being confident. Uh, Sabrina, for you, you know, obviously KT had this very stunning performance, um, and I saw after you you won, a bunch of you guys all went up to her and just squeezed her, and you know, were telling her things. I'm just curious if you can share with us what are some of the things that you told her, and you know, how does tonight sum up why KT is so vital for this team's success? Yeah, I, I mean. It's really hard to stay ready, um, and I think that's a mindset that you have to have. Um, there's been some games where KT hasn't played a lot, and now there's games where she's playing 33 minutes and having 20 points and um, you know five steals. And so I think it's the ability to stay locked in. We all believe in her. We know what she's capable of, and she she sacrifices a lot to be on this team. And I think we all understand that and embrace everything that she brings. She got us into that game, um, especially when we were down and, you know, her defensive intensity to be able to get up and get steals, um, hit big time shots. I mean, we're happy for her because hard work pays off. And to be able to, you know, show up when your number's called and have that opportunity, it can go one of two ways. And, you know, tonight we all believed in her and she really kind of like, you know, went in there and knew what she was capable of and dominated that. And that's always rewarding as a player. Hey, Coach, back here. Uh, no Courtney tonight, obviously, and uh, starters played well and in her place. It looked, it looked like you went in a couple ways for the bench players uh, to help out the starters. What do you think is going to take for them, the reserve guards, reserve guards to kind of get more production to help out the starters? Yeah, it's just getting more experiences, you know, with the group. Um, you know, they're new to the, the team and uh, just staying confident in what they do do. And, you know, they've got their opportunities there. and. Um, you know, just like KT, just being ready for it because it's a long season where everyone's going to get their opportunity as we go forward. And just, just you know, don't get too high, too low. That's, that's the most important thing. Don't read too much in. Just do what you can when you're out on the court. And, you know, they had some good things. There's things where they'll obviously they'll look back and say, oh, I could have done better. But that's every game. We all can do something better. So it's not just the, the reserve players. Hey, Sabrina. Uh, you were red hot in that first quarter. You had 15 points. And they changed up the coverages. They started throwing a lot more action at you. And then other players, KT stepped up big. And then big double-doubles from both uh, Stewie and JJ. How did you adjust your game when they were bringing so much more energy to just kind of help set everybody else up a little bit? Yeah, well, I think in that first quarter when they're in a drop coverage, um, it was my ability to just be able to come off, read the defense, either get to the basket or shoot. Um, and then as they were putting two on the ball, someone's open. And so I think it was just understanding whatever they're going to take away, we kind of have um, the ability to go to a lot of other players. We, we've seen a lot of traps throughout um, last season, obviously, and are well equipped for what we have to do behind the ball when that does happen. And you know, I think we've been able to really use it to our advantage in terms of so many other players were able to get open looks. Uh, we were able to establish JJ inside. Stewie was able to go downhill because there's two players on the ball. So I think it was more of not panicking um, and understanding Understanding that we could use it to our advantage and create openings for everyone. Kayla, at what point did you realize, or I guess did you find out that you would be starting today? Um, and you had mentioned earlier that you had worked on some things overseas, and I'm, I'm curious what were what was like maybe one area of growth that you were most proud of from that that stretch. Um, Sandy kind of told me to be ready when I was in shoot around. Um, they didn't know whether uh, suit was going to play or not, so just just be ready when I, my number called in. Um, just a lot of things. I can't go into details, but um, I think me showing it is most of it is just confidence in my abilities and what I can bring to this team. Um, I just wanted to ask, Coach, is Niara feeling okay? We saw her kind of get banged up, and then KB took her minutes, or you know, next to Stewie in the second half. Yeah, yeah. Um, I hope so. You know, she had a little bit of a mass muscle spasm there in her back, and um, she she took that fall. So hopefully. Uh, yeah, well, hopefully she'll be okay. I haven't spoken to any of the medical staff yet. Um, we've got a lot of games coming up, but um, yeah, no, it's tough, but everyone goes through it. And then I just wanted to follow up and ask, um, Washington scored 40 points in the paint, and especially in the third, they were getting some open looks at the basket on mostly like pick and roll, like simple ball screen actions. Was it a matter of execution <clears throat> or confusion? Yeah, no, look, I think in the second half, um, you know, we, we fall on these traps, we have a good first quarter, and then we relax and 
you know, everyone, you know, we, we go away from what, what works the best for us with our being intentional at both ends of the floor. I think we just relax and I don't know why. I wasn't happy at half time, but, um, you know, we changed the coverages. I thought the switching made us passive and we'll get an open. We're just doing point switches. We went back to yellowing, but their post plays rolled, especially Austin. They moved a lot without the ball and, um, you know, then late in the game, it was just, you know, just we can play great defence when we want. And I know it takes a lot of effort, um, but I thought when we needed it, um, especially in that fourth quarter, this last four minutes, I mean, that was that's what we need to do. And it's, it takes a commitment, obviously, from everyone doing their job, because if one breaks down, it just makes it not look very good. Hey, Coach, you mentioned how in the second and third quarter, you guys kind of relax after the hot first quarters as of late. What can you do as a, as a coach just to get that and make that not more of a habit moving forward? Yeah, I don't know. You got any ideas? <laughs> <laughs> I yelled at him a little bit. Um, you know, you just got to, like, demand excellence. Um, you know, and then I heard after the game, Vegas lost. This is a really strong league. It doesn't matter about their wins or losses. They compete. Washington's had only one loss in double figures. Mm -hmm. So they're close. So if you don't bring the right mindset. Personally, I don't love when we get up early in the first quarter because that – Complacency slipped. Oh, it's pretty easy. Look at me. I'm pretty good. Um, and the hardest thing is when to, to when you lose momentum to get it back, because you relax here. And that's what I, you know, I, I just wasn't happy with. We relaxed. Am I is, am I right, please? Okay, good. <laughs> sometimes I'm right. Sometimes most of the time I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, this question is for uh, Coach Brondello. So when uh, Kayla Thornton was brought to the New York Liberty. GM Jonathan Cobb said that Kayla possesses a rare combination of defensive physicality and offensive spacing. So when you see a game like tonight where Kayla is able to do stuff on both ends, you know, just how important is it to have a player that you can plug into the rotation and get this type of production? It's big time. You know, I've always loved and admired Kayla from afar, coaching against her. She was a thorn in my side for many years. Diana absolutely hated playing against her. They just get into a few... Uh, few tiffs here and there, a few technicals. Um, but you know, Katie just never backed down. And that was the toughness that we needed. And, and, and I'm, happy, I'm really happy for her because she stayed ready. That's about, you know, being, always being ready for your moment and stayed true to who she was. And that's exactly what we need from her. So, I mean, you know, as coach, I'm just – she's an ultimate professional and you love that. Like there's never, you know – getting, oh, what about me, what about me? But she made the most of her, her minutes tonight and, you know, we know, um, you know, hopefully we can continue to, to build and when we get Slooty back too. So her staying confident, I think that's a big thing. Question for KT. Uh, Sabrina said it a minute ago, it's, it's hard to stay ready when, you know, your minutes are sporadic. I'm just wondering what it is maybe that we haven't seen on, on game day that you've been doing to stay ready and kind of what your mindset has been knowing that you could be called upon really at any moment to contribute like you did tonight? Um, I think I'm just strong-minded. I think um, also my faith plays a big part in it, um, just trusting in God, you know, and he has a plan and just, you know, just allowing things to fall in place. Um, you know, everything might not go your way and the road might be bumpy, but you start, you got to stay, you know, persistent. And um, that's the big thing. And, you know, just my teammates, just, you know, keep me encouraged and stuff like that. But mostly just stay ready. This, like she said, it's a long season and it's a lot of games. So you never know what might happen. So it's just about just having confidence and being consistent, the CC. Hi, everybody. Um, Oh, oh, there oh, you go. Sorry. Hi, this was for Sabrina. Um, tonight, you tied your season high in free throws attempted with six, and you were able to have more success going downhill. How do you think that ability to sort of create off the dribble and get to the basket sort of helps open things up and gives the team easy baskets when things get really tight? Yeah, I mean, that's something that I worked on a lot in this off season is just being able to obviously, um, you know, use my body and being able to create for us going downhill, knowing how important paint touches are for our shooters um, in terms of just spacing the floor. Uh, we have you know one through five are able to go out there and knock down shots. And, and so I think being able to continue to just apply pressure on defenses going downhill is going to open up the floor for everybody else, um, whether it's myself at the rim or you know the other four around me. And that's something that I'm going to continue to do, knowing that my teammates need me to do it in order to create us you know, e easy shots on offense. For Sabrina or Kayla, uh, after they went up 75-74, you finished the game with a 16-4 run. 
as a group, what was working well for you in, in those final five minutes? Um, it was getting stops. I mean, there was a timeout, and, you know, I, I don't think we particularly were playing hard enough. I don't know why, and I think it was something that we all um, talked about, you know, in that 20 seconds that we had is just we got to buckle down and we got to get stops defensively. Uh, we got to make it tougher for them. Um, stops lead to scores for us. We know we could put the ball in the basket, and, and I think just that commitment for those – Three to five minutes played a huge role in how this game turned out. It could have gone one or two ways, and uh, we didn't really back down. And I think our ability to, to do that obviously is great. We would love to do it for 40 minutes. Um, but it's not always going to work that way, and you gotta, you got to be able to win ugly. And for us to be able to kind of figure it out tonight, um, kind of through the mud and, and grind it out is huge for us, and we're going to be able to go back and watch film and figure out things we need to improve on. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.